bug tried to attack me. Anyways, welcome back to the garage. Once again, we are working on Bob trying to get a few things handled. Uh, first and foremost on the list of to-do things for this video is we're going to put a put an alternator on the car. Um, this can be a challenge. It's, it's not going to be super easy. Uh, but with a little bit of imagination and some aluminum from the metal place, we are going to make it happen. So I'm going to show you what I've done so far and what I hope we're going to do in making this bracket because it could be kind of challenging, but we will see. So we started out with uh, we started out with this this piece right here. Uh, it was actually a little bit longer. I've I've already cut some of it back. Um, and we're making a cardboard template that's going to go on the side of the block um, because there's somewhere around here there's going to be a bolt hole and then part of this is going to get cut off and then we're going to transfer that over to the back of this. Um, and then on this side, the alternator is going to bolt somewhere around here. And then we're going to catch those two motor plate bolt holes right here and sandwich this all together so that it picks up some strength and rigidity uh, to keep it from throwing belts. So right there and behind that group of wires is the other bolt. And the alternator is going to sit somewhere around here. No better time than the present to get started. All right, so this probably really isn't the most optimum way to cut this, but uh, I saw cut most of this bracket out, and then we're going to put it on the machine, on the milling machine, and square up the edges and stuff, make it look nice. And uh, again, not the most optimum way to hold the part, but it'll work for now. Okay, so we got that alternator bracket uh, machined real quick like, and it turned out really good. Um, I'm gonna change a couple of things on it, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let me set this thing down, and then we're gonna put the camera on it. All right, so this black line right here is the edge of the motor plate, and this tab sticking out is a has a 7 16 thread in it for the main bolt that holds the alternator on. The problem with that is that this particular bracket is only that thick, which is, you know, about three, I think it's three-eighths of an inch or maybe a half inch. I don't think the whole weight of the alternator, uh, the yanking of the belt at 8,500 RPMs and all that stuff, I don't think that that tab is going to last for the long run, so I have an idea. We're going to take this piece of leftover that was... I think was cut off of one of these sides. I don't remember which. Anyways, uh, this piece of leftover, we're going to trim it up nice and we're going to put it right there and weld it in place and then drill these two holes um, through this piece and thread them also. So that will effectively double the thickness of the part where the alternator itself 
is hanging from and hopefully uh, keep it from breaking. It may last forever and it may not. So it's not one of those things. It's, it's one of those things that's going to break at the worst possible time at the track in the final round or something like that. So uh, obviously we don't want that. So let's get it fixed up. All right. This thing turned out pretty good. Uh, everything looks really good on it. Drilled and tapped the holes through it. I think you can see. Uh, look, there's my neighbor's house through the holes there. Uh, I think this thing's going to work. So next we have to turn a spacer that goes between that corner of the alternator mount and one of the bolt bosses on the block. So we're going to get that turned, get it mounted, and then make one more spacer for the back of the alternator and that'll pretty much be it for this part. All right, new radiator came in, alternator bracket is in place. Let me turn some light on. And you'll see exactly how it sits in there. So it's pretty rigid so far. You can see the tensioner hanging down there. We got to put tabs on the on the frame rail right there for that. We might run a shorter belt. We might not. It's it's kind of close right there. Uh, pretty close to adjusted. I think it'll make it. So the last part of that particular project is to get those tabs welded on there, like I said, and we'll get the thing adjusted out and then we'll move on to the next part. Uh, rerouting those wires, they, they've already been ran under the motor plate, so that's just going to be taking them loose and putting them back and we'll be done with that. And yeah, like I said, the fan is there. Now if you look across the fan, the collector is a little bit below that maybe, kind of hard to tell from the camera angle. So the turbo kit might be a little tiny bit of a challenge, but it's not the end of the world. Nothing we haven't done before. So, all right, let's check this alternator mount out underneath the car. It actually turned out really good. I'm uh, pretty pleased with it. I think it's going to work good. Uh, got the fan mounted on the radiator, and I'm going to have to take it all back apart so I can weld the bungs on the radiator, uh, take the front end tubing off of it, and paint all that stuff and put it back together. Anyways, let's check out the alternator. Yeah, you can see it pretty good right there. There's the welded up piece, and that's the bolt that comes through for the for the top of the alternator. Catches that bolt boss on the block. And I think you can see it. There's the spacer underneath it. So it's pretty solid. It's not going anywhere. Belt is perfectly straight and tight and all that good stuff. There's the adjuster. Blah, blah, blah. I think it'll work. Okay, that is the perfect place to end this video. We've got a lot done. Alternator mounted, fan mounted, all that good stuff. Doesn't sound like much when you say it like that, but nonetheless, it is definite progress in the right direction. So that is the end of the video, guys. Thanks everybody for stopping by and checking it out. I am beat. I'm ready to go inside, edit up this video, and hopefully we'll get a couple of them out this week. Thanks guys. We'll see you in the next one.